Good morning and welcome back to part two in this series on sleep systems. This video is all about bivy bags. I've come out to a pine forest today purely because we're expecting some high winds later on today and um, I figured it would be a bit quieter in pine woodland. I feel like there's a bit of a weather conspiracy against me at the moment. Uh, last weekend I had to dodge Storm Cecil um, which wreaked havoc across most of the UK and this weekend we've got another storm coming in, Storm Dennis. Um, yeah, it's, it's not too bad at the moment but we are expecting heavy rain and high winds later on. So these are my bivy bags. I only have five of them. They range greatly from very simple, cheap ones, right the way through to more expensive, more elaborate designs, uh, which offer you a bit more comfort. Okay, starting things off at the simple end of things. Um, this is the cheapest bivy bag I own. This is a British Army issue Gore-Tex sleeping bag cover. Um, these are really cheap, but you can pick these up for about 20 pounds. They're totally waterproof. But obviously they haven't got any sort of zip or anything to close up the head end. Um, you've just got a draw cord which closes up around your sleeping bag, um, leaving your face clear. It's simple, there's not a lot to go wrong, you know, there's no zips to snag. Um, and like I said, they're really, really cheap. They're absolutely huge. There's plenty of room in there for you um, and kit as well. Uh, you know, they're, they're really long, they're wide. Obviously they're designed for a soldier. I'm assuming that they're designed for a soldier to keep his rifle in there as well and gear. Um, yeah, really good and bomb proof. It's a little bit more awkward to get into and get out of, but um, you know, that's the same with all top entry bivy bags. Right, next up, we've got this one here. This is a US military modular sleep system sleeping bag cover clone. Um, this isn't one of the, the genuine ones. This is made by Miltech and um, just a copy basically of the same design. It's got a zip which comes up the side so it makes getting into it and getting out a lot easier. Um, and the zip stops just short of the hood. There's a good reason for that. You should never sleep in a bivy bag with it completely zipped up because you're going to seriously reduce the amount of air you're breathing. You're also gonna have serious problems with condensation. You know, a lot of people complain about um, moisture inside bivy bags. Well, most of that moisture is coming from your breath. So um, keeping it open a bit is gonna help and keeping your mouth near that opening. And then there's a draw cord and Velcro tabs to keep it closed over the top of you. So it's just draped over you rather than sealed. The floor of the bivy bag is made from this tough plastic covered nylon. The top at first glance appears to be made of Gore-Tex, although it's not. It is claimed to be breathable, but the breathability is nowhere near as good as Gore-Tex. I've heard really mixed reviews about these bivy bags. I've not had a problem with them, um, but I know people who have uh, found them to be very wet in the morning from condensation and, you know, just um, vapor not being able to get out. away it's quite bulky it's also heavy uh, this weighs in at 1500 grams so there are definitely lighter options on the market next along we've got another top entry bivy bag this one from Rab this is the Ascent bivy and I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Jay he sent this to me this was a gift from him and um, it's absolutely brilliant. It's the lightest bivy bag I have, weighing under 700 grams, so ideal for those lightweight trips where you wanna keep a low profile. The bottom of the bag is made from a lightweight waterproof nylon, and the covering is Event, which is waterproof and breathable. It has a load of really nice features, this bivy bag. There's a zip which runs all the way around with a, a Velcro storm closure. Again, don't zip it all the way up, just for breathability. It's got a removable mosquito net, so you can take this out during the winter months when you don't need it and zip it in during the summer. And it's got a tie out point at the top of the opening here, so you can tie this up to a tree so that in the summer you can get a bit more ventilation in here, which is a really good idea.
Right, onto hooped bivvies. They differ from the others in that they use a single pole to keep the top end of the bivvy bag off your face and give you a little bit more room inside. First one is the Jupiter bivvy by Terra Nova. It's a brilliant bivvy, um, but unfortunately it's no longer in production. I don't know why they stopped making these because they're excellent, but I managed to get hold of one a few years ago second hand and um, yeah, it's been really good. The zip is protected underneath this storm cowl here, and there are two guy out points so you can peg it out and give it more stability and strong winds. It also means that when you leave the zip open at the top here for ventilation, you're not gonna get driving rain coming in and making you all wet. The storm cowl has an elasticated cord running through it, and then at one end, there's a cord lock so you can tighten it up and stop it flapping around in strong winds. And then inside the front end of the bivy bag is another zip so you can separate the waterproof part of the bivy bag from a mosquito net. You can have the whole front end open to the air for ventilation, but protected from insects in the summer. Like with the Rad bivy bag, it's got a lightweight waterproof nylon floor, and the top half is made from Flow 2, which is a gas permeable waterproof laminate made by Gore-Tex, but even more breathable than standard Gore-Tex. And in all the years I've been using this bivy bag, I've never had a problem with condensation inside. I've always been dry, my sleeping bag has always been dry. Getting in and out is again made a little bit more awkward by the fact that it's a top-loading bivy bag, but um, you do get used to that, to be honest. Uh, once you've done it a few times, getting in and out is a cinch. And that brings us finally onto this one. This is a Dutch Army hooped bivvy, and these things are brilliant. These have a side entry with a really nice long zip, which makes getting in and out of them really easy. It also has a zip which follows the hoop around the top of the bivvy bag, but unfortunately, the zip on mine has failed. The contract to make these for the Dutch military went out to two different companies. Corinthia was one of them. Um, I'm sure most of you have heard of Corinthia, make really good sleeping bags and bivy bags. And the other contracts went out to a Spanish manufacturer called Fexa. And sadly, the quality of the Spanish ones is nowhere near as good as the Corinthia ones. My one is a Spanish one, which is why that zip has failed. It's made from that same Gore-Tex air permeable fabric as the Terra Nova bivy bag, but this time it's all the way around. It's on the bottom as well, and it's tougher. This is, this is a tougher material than the thin, uh, lightweight nylon in the Terra Nova. It's also huge. My sleeping bag is where it would normally sit with my feet down at the bottom of the bivy bag and there is loads of room in here to store gear, to store your boots, to store whatever bits and pieces you might want to have inside. I believe these came in different sizes. I'm not sure what size this one is, but um, they are really good. Just like with the Terra Nova bivy, there's a really good storm cowl here which protects the zip, so when you've got the zip undone, at the top there for ventilation, you've got some protection there, and it's also got some press studs, so you can pop it onto the main fabric and stop it flapping around in the wind. Underneath that storm cowl and the hoop, there is a mosquito net, so in the summertime when insects are an issue, you can lower that down, that zips around the inside of the bivy bag on a separate zip, so you can have that open, allowing air in, but stopping the mosquitoes. Another really nice feature of these bivy bags are these loops on the underside. They're designed to take a roll mat. I personally prefer to have my roll mat inside my bivy bag with me, but this is a good idea because it does protect the bottom of your bivy bag. And these loops here just keep your roll mat in place. So if you use one of these foam type roll mats, that's what they're designed to be used with. That's what is issued to soldiers in a lot of armed forces. And that just keeps it in place, stops you from sliding off it during the night. Now like the US MSS clone that I showed you before, this is bulky similar bulk to that system and it's the same weight so it's 1500 grams again but considering what you get here you know you get a lot more space lots of really good features i think it's worth that extra weight and bulk to carry it
So when I'm not in a tent or hammock camping, these are the bivy bags that I use. I'm not saying they're the best. Um, you know, there are thousands of bivy bags out there to choose from. These are just the ones that I have, so I thought I would go through the features and what I like and dislike about each of them. Bivy bags aren't for everybody. They're small, they're close to the ground, they can be a bit claustrophobic, and they do present problems which you need to find solutions to, you know, because of their size. So I thought I'd share with you a few little tips to help making using a bivy bag a little bit more comfortable. The first thing, if you can't find any natural shelter, an overhanging rock or something that's fallen down, a tree or something, to help give you a little bit of extra protection, a tarp is a really good idea. It gives you a little bit more space that is dry. I know your bivy bag is waterproof, but as soon as you step out of it, you're in the weather. So for taking your boots off and putting your boots on in the morning, for cooking, for storing gear, a small tarp is a really, really good thing. It's gonna make bivying a lot more comfortable. It doesn't need to be big. This one here is only a very small, solo, very lightweight little tarp. You only really need to cover the head end of your bivy bag. Doesn't matter if that lot is outside of the bivy bag because it's all waterproof anyway. But if you can cover over the entry, somewhere to put your boots, somewhere to put your gear, somewhere to get out so you're not straight into the rain, that, um, that will help hugely. The next thing, and I mentioned it before, is ventilation. Never zip the whole bivy bag up, leave a bit open for breathing and you'll find that that makes a huge difference to moisture buildup inside your bivy bag as well. Most of the moisture is gonna come from your breathing, not from you sweating, so you need somewhere for that moisture to go. Leave the top of your bivy bag open a little bit, or if you've got one with a zip around, or even a draw cord, just leave it open a little bit. Use a tarp to keep the weather off, and things will be a lot more comfortable. Use a small ground sheet underneath your bivy bag. It'll help to protect the underside from being punctured by sharp sticks and stones and things. It also gives you a cleanish, dryish space to put things and to step on when you're getting in and out of your bivy bag. Putting your roll mat or sleeping pad inside the bivy bag will help to stop you from rolling off it in the night. There's nothing worse than rolling off and ended up ending up cold in the early hours. So putting that inside sort of traps it in place and stops it moving around, which is a big help. Also consider what mat you use when choosing a bivy bag. Mine is quite thick, it's two inches thick, so it puts me further up, higher off the ground, and therefore closer to the top of the bivy bag. So make sure when you're choosing one that it's not so small that you end up just being pushed into the fabric at the top of the bivy bag, which isn't gonna be very comfortable. Bivy bags, great for those low profile, low impact stealth camps. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in part three, pads, pillows, and other paraphernalia. Thank you.